In this Diecast Emporium video, we're going to be taking a look at a 150 scale Diecast Masters Highline Series Caterpillar 980 wheel loader. Item number 85684. Let's go ahead and get straight into the unboxing. Because it's part of the Highline Series, this model does come in the collectible metal tin, which is protected by a white nylon bag. So let's go ahead and remove that. All right. Taking a look at the tin, here is the top. Cat 980 wheel loader. Again, 1 to 50 scale. Your item number, collectible die-cast scale model replica. The back of the tin has dimensions, specifications, and other detail of the real piece of heavy equipment, including its 393 horsepower engine. So if you want to read more about that, please feel free to pause my video now. For the rest of us, we shall continue. Here's another high-quality photo of the 980 at work. Sides of the tin, die-cast masters were up because Highline Series, item number, same thing. Here's the front of the tin. Now, for the 2023 die-cast masters models and beyond, there will no longer be the catalog that's included normally. Uh, you just have this kind of QR code where you scan it. You can download it to your tablet or your smartphone. I think that's a much better way of doing things. Uh, certainly saves and cuts down on paper, which we're all trying to do our part. So good on Diecast Masters. All right, let's pop the top. Note the absence of the aforementioned catalog, but we still have our two favorite holes. We stick our fingers in those finger holes. Removing the top piece of black foam rubber. Here's the wheel loader nestled inside. Be careful what you grab onto. There are some potentially fragile pieces that may break with some inappropriate mishandling. But, the model is complete, out of the box, with no assembly required. Okay, let's go over some of the details and decals found on this high-quality replica. The first thing you'll probably notice is the new Cat Modern Hex graphics, including the 980 seen here. The vent work on the side of the engine cover is done with graphics, but it looks pretty realistic. Uh, and there's also some very, very small decal work across the articulation joint. Moving towards the back of the machine. This is a mistake on these wheel loaders. This cat logo should actually be the modern hex logo on the back of the machine. But we move on down to the bottom of the counterweight. The counterweights are larger on the 980 and the 982 versus the 966, for example, and you can clearly see that with the change in the casting. Here's your lights, a simulated tow hitch, uh, also lights up on top. Moving around to the right side of the machine, which is different from the left side, especially if you look at the driver's door or the cab area, uh, you have this extra detail piece. The hand and grab rails are metal, which is nice to see. They do appear to be pretty close to scale, and here's another warning uh, label across the articulation joint. The hubs as well, maybe a little bit hard to see on camera, but the wheel hubs are highlighted with some silver paint on the lug nuts, and they look quite good in the scale, really pops. Also, you'll notice the tires aren't that shiny, which is a good thing. Uh, it gives it more of a, a realistic profile to it. Now, moving to the front of the loader, you can see that it has a rock-style loading bucket. This bucket has eight teeth, along with cutting edges. This part here, known as the spill guard, this should be indented through, but obviously, as with every model, some compromises have to be made. Looking at the Z-bar linkage and the loader arms, you can see the twin hydraulic pistons that power the loader arms and the bucket, and there's also two forward-facing lights. Looking at the cab, you can see the clear window inserts, also have a windshield wiper, several mirrors. The operator figure in the new Diecast Master series of wheel loaders is permanently affixed inside the cab. Before we move on to functionality, let's take a look at what the loader looks like underneath. You can see the large axle here, which does oscillate. I'll show you that more in functionality. The Diecast Master's logo, 150 scale, and the item number, again, decaled with some white uh, lettering. Moving towards the front, again, here's your articulation joint. You can see the, the front axle as well as the underside of the bucket seen here. And you can also see the wear plating detail on the bottom of the bucket, which stands out and looks quite good. Okay, that is details and decals. We'll pause momentarily. When we come back, we'll go through the loader's functionality. 
All right, folks, we're back. Let's go through the wheel loader's functionality. Obviously, this is a roll retired machine and the wheels roll well enough. I mentioned that there is rear axle oscillation as there should be, but the front axle is fixed in position again as it should be. There are no opening doors, including the cab door and any of the side of the engine on this model. Moving towards the articulation, you can achieve a relatively decent and to scale articulated pose of the machine turning. It does seem to have a wider range to the right than it does to the left. Looking at the model head-on in this view, you can see that a little bit better. Now, for the main loader arm functionalities, let's check it out. You can raise it to here, which is an improvement over the previous 980 model by Diecast Masters. You can see that the lift height is much greater than it was. Okay, how about our bucket functionality? Again, this is another improvement with the bucket able to tilt all the way forward and discharge any of the simulated material you may have therein. All right, how about the lower end of things? We've got a decent carry angle position. Seen here? Here's your flush or parked mode. And if you want a cutting angle, you can also get a respectable cutting angle, although obviously there's more that I personally would like to see. But, taking everything into account, this is a much improved 980 loader than what we've seen with the M-Series uh, before this one, so that is good to see, and even more so over the K-Series before that. Now, for the last part of the video, let's see what this model looks like pa uh, compared next to, easy for me to say, some other 150th scale Diecast Masters construction models. Okay, for our first simulated display... We have the Diecast Masters Western Star Heavy Haul Tractor with the XL120H DG Low Boy Trailer. And it makes a pretty convincing display on top of this trailer as the loader takes up nearly the entire deck. So that's one option available to you. How about if you want to display it with a dump truck, we can also do that. By the way, if you want to see a review of this particular Low Boy set, there will be a link at the top corner of your screen right now. All right. How about the Diecast Masters Caterpillar CT660 dump truck? This was the first release without the ox body uh, dump body on it. And there you go. As demonstrated very clearly here on the images you are seeing, the loader arm is uh, well enough to clear over the side. So it goes high enough to clear over the side. Here's a different angle of that. And again, that's the main issue I wanted to see addressed with these. Uh, updated new loaders, and they certainly have passed that test with flying colors. All right, everyone, that'll do it for this Diecast Emporium review. Let me know what you think of this model down in the comments section below. Also, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. It costs you nothing but a moment of your time, and it also allows you never to miss a new upload. Take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.